everyone. Welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. This was, was going to be my second video of the day, but I was making a video on the weight of the duckweed fed tilapia and this piece of crap phone didn't record the video in the most important part. So you're going to have to wait on that video until tomorrow. Uh, it looks like this pen for the most part is done. I think it needs maybe another 15, 20 bags of rice hulls. And I think it actually needs water hooked up to it as well for a drinker and uh, to be able to fill that pool. So it's almost done. I, I guarantee it's going to be done by tomorrow and it'll probably have a couple pigs in it tomorrow. Three, uh, in fact. It would be, I think, they're just going to move the gilts tomorrow. If it was me, I would move uh, Peppa as well, the uh, the adult female. This is plenty large enough of a pen for all four of those pigs. I thought that I was wanting to uh, reclaim one of those pens over there for, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think they're going to fight. The gilts are large enough to where they can take care of themselves for now. I mean, I don't know why mess. I don't know why Tatai wants to mess with reclaiming one of those pens well it would be easier than redoing uh, the next down the line here but still um, it's eventually going to have to uh, these pens here are eventually going to have to be reclaimed and I don't know I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come it were it me I would move all four of the uh, remaining all four of the pigs that are remaining out at Mike and Brian's farm into this pen tomorrow after it gets some rice holes and uh, water hooked up to it. But uh, I'm not in charge of this. So um, whatever Mike and or Brian tell Marcel and she tells Tatai, that's what's going to happen. But it's looking lots more better to me. It's looking pig proof anyway. So, uh, I'm not going to make this a standalone video. I will add uh, what goes on tomorrow uh, to this video. Okay, next day. Uh, the gilts are here. These are the three gilts from uh, Mike and Brian's farm. That one there looks, these are all from the same litter. That's a pretty small gilt. The one that looks like a Duroc. It's probably the biggest one. I don't know, maybe this one as well. Maybe these are like the same. But that little white one there, I don't know what the hell happened to her. She's looking kind of like a midget gilt. I don't know, who knows these things. Same litter, same parents. That red one probably outweighs that white one two to one. Maybe two and a half to one, biomass wise. But they're here. Uh, they're loving life. Where's their drinker, boy? He didn't put the drinker in yet? Well, he should have done that before he moved the pigs over here. How are they supposed to drink? They're supposed to drink that crappy ass pool water? Huh? We have many drinkers here. There's like 40. All you have to do is take the wrench and undo it. I mentioned that to Tata, that he needs to get a proper drinker installed in this. And it needs to be done today because you guys are done with this today. There's going to be no more work on this the rest of this week because I say. So whatever you don't get done today is not going to get done, period. And I told Tatai this yesterday. So get it done. You guys are going to get rice holes? Or are you finished with the rice holes? One more trip? All right, yeah, I could probably use another five bags in here, and this is starting to settle, so 
maybe another five bags here, and we can have some extra, so that's fine. I don't know, I'll talk to Tati. Maybe he can stay here and fix the water while you guys go get the rice hulls. It needs to be done. Well, Petra is here. Just, just got delivered and she obviously is enjoying the pool already. Or, is that... And I think you got the water complete. Yeah. Uh, it's got a valve there to fill the pool up, and the automatic water is, is in place. Uh, be nice, Petra. Those are your daughters, in case you don't remember. Well, that pen is plenty big enough for those four, as long as they still get along somewhat. I mean, they're going to be a little bit of a little bit of uh, noise in there, but I don't think Petra will hurt them too much. Welcome back home. She's been a, a good sow. She's had, I don't know, 40 piglets now or 50 something, I don't know. Ty, how many piglets all has Petra had? You, can you remember? The next? No. Oh, squirrel, this one. No, I mean all. Cause she was here, she had piglets. There, she had piglets two times, three times. Twelve. Yeah. And that is Petra, right? She was here before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So she had piglets here before, yeah. Oh, no, no. no, you never did. Yeah. I thought. Oh, okay. So she's had 25 so far. Yeah. A good job nonetheless. We need transfer in the mic pieces so get this again. Say again? We need transfer there. Oh, when From she there. was a gilt when we took her over there? Yeah. yeah. About their size? Yeah, she's definitely bigger than they are now. <laughs> so these were from her first litter? Yeah. Yeah. See, Tata, I told you, no fighting. Just for like a few seconds. Yeah. Well, she just got to let them know mommy's home. What you thinking, guys? He knows that the tree gets his son. Yeah, I'm sure she remembers. Pigs are pretty smart. It's not she won't bite them or, or really try to hurt them. She might let them know who the who the boss lady is, but she won't hurt them. And these guys over here are still doing well. They're munching away. Alrighty, all the pigs from Mike and Brian's place are here. The pens are done for now. Tomorrow, we're going to start on the round tanks. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.